to main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Jordan Allen, who writes, I recently rewatched Big Hero 6. I love Big Hero 6 mm -hmm. uh, for the 50th time and was wondering, why didn't we ever get a sequel? It has an 89% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the movie made north of $650 million worldwide. Plus, it won Best Picture, well, to be specific, Best Animated Feature at the Academy Awards. What more could have happened to warrant a sequel? All right, thanks a lot for saying that in, man. And yes, I loved Big Hero 6. I mean, and it wasn't just because of the big, you know, <laughs> adorable, you know, it was, it had heart, it had, it was about loss, it was about grieving, but it was also really fun and funny and adorable and had great action. The voice cast was fantastic. All, everything you could have possibly hoped for. And you're not wrong. It checked all the boxes about what would you want in a movie to justify a sequel. Well, you'd want the movie to be good. It was good. You'd want it to be received well, high audience score, almost 90% critic score. You'd want some financial success, movie made north of $650 million. You'd want a little bit of recognition for it. It won Best Animated Academy Award at the Oscars. How on earth did this movie not end up getting a sequel? Well, there are actually two pretty good reasons. First, let's look at this. A short time ago, and not all that long ago, the directors of the film were kind of talked to about Big Hero 6 and... Would they do another one? And this is what one of the directors, Don Hall, had to say. Talking about the original film, it was really fun, but it was long hours, and it was pretty intense, and it's a pretty emotional time for us. These are characters that we've grown to know very well, and now it's time to let go of them. And they're going into the world without us. We're in the middle of that phase. So we haven't talked about, talking about doing a sequel or anything, we haven't talked about or thought about any sequels or anything like that. Now, this was not long after the film came out initially. He's kind of communicating something that I think a lot of us as movie fans take for granted, guys, which is that making these movies can be insanely stressful. They can shorten your life. Um, it can be a lot of infighting. It, there's, it, there's a lot of creative battles that go on to get a movie made and then hopefully it gets done and it's celebrated as Big Hero 6 was. It always sounded to me like the directors were not super keen to rush right back in and do it all over again. It sounded like it was rewarding. It had a huge payoff and they're like, we're good. The other thing to keep in mind here is this, is that they Disney decided to move forward to a Big Hero 6 animated show. Mm -hmm. which doesn't automatically uh, disqualify it from getting another sequel, but it, once you take the property and move it to animated or move it to television, I was saying, to an animated series, it makes it a little bit more, well, why go back and do another movie when it's just on TV for free? So I guess there's a little bit of that too. So those are the things that I look at at any rate. Uh, at any rate. Chris, you know, being the resident uh, animated person yourself, <laughs> first of all, what did you think about the original Big Hero 6, and, and why do you think maybe we never got a sequel to it? I was a huge fan of the original one, and I think the 89% on Rotten Tomatoes is criminally low. I love that movie. And it took a, a source material and really went a totally different way with it, too. Yeah, it's it very did. different than the actual comics. And we did get that little Easter egg teaser at the end, right, with Stan Lee as dear old dad there. Yep. And that did seem like it was setting up for a sequel. But I'm so glad you brought up the animated series because we got that in 2017. We've done two seasons. It's been greenlit for a season three. So it technically does have a sequel, but I can understand how it does feel so different to not have a movie and instead have this series. I would have loved more. I love B-Max. I love him so much. He's so cute. And I love that actor, too. Uh, he played Hornberger on uh, on 30 Rocks. I love Pete Hornberger. I can't remember the actor's actual name. I'm so sorry. Um, but I feel like the TV series, though, is great. It's kind of the same way, though, as like Tangled is so good. And we all wanted a Tangled sequel. And then we got a series for that. So as, if you're willing to sit down and watch these shows, guys, they're really worthwhile. I know a lot of people are turned off by cartoons, but they're so fun and they're not just for kids. Was it Scott Adsit? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, that would have bothered me all day. Aaron, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this whole thing? You know, I, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. There's so much that, yes, goes into making these films, especially with animation, because the production time is so much longer on animation. And let's also not forget that Don Hall went off and was involved with Moana just 
two years yeah, later. Right. So he had a lot going on during that time. And it really makes sense that they would want to say, okay, we've done this. It's time for us all emotionally to move on. And, you know, people want to explore different creative stories. When you work on a project, I mean, I don't know how long it took for them to do this particular project, but Chris, how long would you say that it takes an average animated feature to from start to finish. Oh my gosh, it's years. years. It's years. years. It's not the same yeah, it's kind a of long yeah. process. Right. And whereas with a feature film, I mean, I, I I know that some of them, yes, can take years, but like Queen and Slim, for example, was pitched, shot, and in theaters within a year. Now mm-hmm. that was by design, but um, you know, for a live action feature, you can do it in a lot less turnaround time. Whereas these people are, are really giving their heart, blood, soul, and sweat for um, an extended period of time. And a lot of times they just want to move on to the next thing. And I don't begrudge them that. Question here is guys, what did you think about the original Big Hero 6? I adored it and I would love to see another one, but do you have other theories about why maybe it never happened? Do you think maybe it will happen at some time in the future? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.